Hey, what's up survivors? In this video, I want to show you guys how to make a mod that does this. For many objects in DayZ, we can override the textures using hidden selections. Most of you who are even remotely experienced in modding will know about this, but there are some files we can't use this method. For example, I've been trying to change the map texture for the map boards at hunting sites and the 3D map that you unfold as a player. And those objects don't have hidden selections built into the models. So the only method we can use to mod those textures is the PBO override technique. Essentially, this technique just tells the game to load an alternative texture file from within a PBO. So I'll show you what I mean. The reason I'm making this video is because I couldn't find any info out there for DayZ. There's plenty of armor guides, but there wasn't one for DayZ. My buddy SpaceCat told me about this technique, and after getting it to work, I figured I might as well create a quick video for any other modders out there who are trying to figure this out. So the technique is really simple. The first thing we need to do is find the texture we want to modify. So in my case, I'm working with Livonia. So I'm going to go into structure underscore bliss, go to signs, tourist, data. Here is my texture file. This is the texture I want to modify. So if you don't have this extension already automatically opening as a PAA text file, you can come to Daisy Tools, click text view, open, and then navigate to the file through here. So for Chinaris, it would be under regular structures, signs, tourist, data, and I think it's this one, Carter Co. There we go, there's the Chinaris map. So now once you find the texture file you want to override, you need to export this as a PNG. You can just save it as a PNG file. I'll save it to my desktop, change the extension to .png, open up Photoshop or whatever image editing software you're familiar with, open up the texture, and now you can draw your custom locations, whatever it is that you're trying to override. Um, or you can use this method for things like changing certain textures to winter textures. That's how the winter Livonia, winter Chinaris mods work. Um, it's also how you can change like chemo netting to be winter textures. You can change pretty much anything as far as I know using this method, even 3D models, I believe. So if you've been wanting to mod certain things, billboards, um, signs within the game, this is how you do it. So for this example, I'll just drag on my logo, save that right in the middle. That looks fantastic. Who wouldn't want to play on a server with this map? I'm going to save this to my P drive. Um, now I already have a custom mod set up for this. So I'm going to copy this and I'll change this to say uh, Zen PBO prefix uh, template. Now in here is where we want to save our textures. So I already have a map texture in here. I'll just save mm -hmm. over the top of that. Now I can close Photoshop. Now if I come to this file, Double click it. I'm gonna delete everything I don't need out of this. So I don't think I need any of these files. All I need is the texture file that I wanna override. Now I accidentally deleted my PNG. I shouldn't have done that. Leave the PNG in here because we need to open this up in the text view. I have this built into my context menu here, but if you don't have that, just open up tools, click text view and navigate to it. Let's make sure I've got the right file. There we go. Now I just need to export this as PAA. Override the existing map file. There we go. And now we're good to go. So what I need to do now is open up my add-on builder. And now I need to put in my um, PBO folder. So Zen PBO prefix template, copy that into my path to project folder. Now make sure up here in the list of files to copy directly, make sure that you have .text included in this file. These are all extensions that will be included in the PBO. .text is typically not included by default, or at least it wasn't on my list of uh, file types. All of these file types are separated with a semicolon. So make sure to add a semicolon on the end and then star.txt, txt. Once you've done that, click okay. And now here in add on prefix, we need to specify the folder, the directory that we want to override with this PBO file. So if I open up my P folder, DZ, uh, remember it was in structures underscore bliss, signs, tourist, data, here is my map texture that I want to override. So I need to copy everything here except for the P drive in the file structure. Uh, come down here, paste that into add-on prefix, and we're good to go. Depending on what you're exporting, you may need to turn binarize off if you're using P3D files that are already binarized, but this is the texture file, so I'm fine to leave that on. I'm going to change my directory to my vanilla test server, which has no mods in it, or very minimal mods. It has um, community framework and VPP admin tools and my testing mod folder. So if I export this into my testing mod folder, build successful, 
If I go to my vanilla server here, so now if I start this server and log in, we can test if this worked. There we go, it worked perfectly. Uh, except for our sidebar here is missing. So I've messed something up here. All right, so because we're overriding this entire directory, because I didn't include the sidebar texture of the map, we're essentially nullifying that texture because we didn't include it in our override pack. So I need to copy the vanilla texture into my mod and re-export it so that that texture is applied when we override that file structure with our PBO prefix. So now I've got to repack the mod, launch up my server, jump in and see if this works. There we go, perfect. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple, but obviously pretty powerful. So I hope you found this interesting. Good luck with your modding and stay safe, Survivor.